Today, you get to explore Pinellas County on the Pinellas Trail. You can head north to Dunedin, the town that the trail made. The Pinellas Trail cuts right through the heart of its now flourishing downtown. A few miles north, you can leave the trail and get on a beach-bound trail to Honeymoon Island, a notoriously popular state park where you go back in time to the 1930s when honeymooners came to explore the once wild outback of Florida. Ferry trips run every hour from Honeymoon Island over to Caladesi Island, voted one of America's most outstanding beaches. Return to the Benelis Trail and head north toward the unique city of Tarpon Springs, whose history of Greek sponge divers has framed this town since the 1800s. Greek culture is still dominant and tastefully enjoyed at the sponge docks, just a few blocks from the trail. Return to the trail and head southbound in time to take in the evening's dinner and entertainment at Ross Norton Center. On your left. On your left. Let other riders know your intentions to pass or change lanes by speaking loudly and clearly and saying, on your left, on your right, or slowing and stopping. Slowing. 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 Stopping. Stopping. Just as important is the need to search before you change lane position. Do so and you will not crash into others. Keep in mind that some cyclists will be going slowly and some will be going fast. By searching and verbalizing, everybody knows what is going on around them. By verbalizing, we mean actually saying on your left, on your right, slowing and stopping. Doing so alerts riders to your presence and your intentions. Just like bumping the road as you try to re-enter, bumping the back tire of the rider in front of you will send you pavement bound. Once your front tire hits another rider's rear tire, your bike will change direction, but your body will not. The unfortunate result is a face in the pavement, or perhaps two or more if it's a tandem you're messing with. This is a really bad type of crash because other riders are likely to crash into or over you. Keep in mind that many riders are unstable in groups. The wise rider maintains a safe distance. Be ready to stop at all road crossings. Make sure you can look left, right, left, and yield or stop for oncoming traffic. Do not get caught up in a false sense of safety while on the trail. Today you will be passing Dunedin with a rest stop at Wall Springs before saying goodbye to Tarpon Springs and the Pinellas Trail. You'll transition to the more natural part of your Florida cycling experience, but not before the challenge of Keystone Road. The Pinellas Trail ends at Keystone Road. Here you'll wait to be assisted by Pinellas County Sheriff's officers to platoon us through this 2.3 mile stretch of curving, high traffic volume, two lane road with no shoulders. Please wait, be patient, and cooperate with the law enforcement officers for everyone's safety. Then riders will continue on paved shoulders or separated paths to the Starkey Wilderness Park for an evening in nature, including a hayride to the country-style meal. The evening's program features Florida's photographer laureate, John Moran, who will spellbind your senses as he presents the real and natural Florida captured in his images. If you need to stop and use your cell phone or do anything, make sure you stop and get off the trail or get off the road completely where it's safe to use your cell phone. Waking up in the wilderness setting, you will fill up on pancakes to get you ready for this long day in the hills of the Suncoast Parkway Trail. Leaving the trail, you will wind your way to Inverness via County Road 476, Lake Lindsay Road, and the lower portion of the Withlacoochee State Trail. Volunteers from the Fort Cooper State Park CSO have offered a rest stop and interpretive talk about the history of the Seminole Indian Wars that took place only a few hundred miles from where we will bicycle. 
Then you can go directly on to downtown historic Inverness or back to the campsite at Inverness Middle School, right on the edge of the trail. Bicycles are legal vehicles in all 50 states. We want to be expected and noticed by drivers. We don't want to be liable for causing crashes. It's far less risky and safer if you ride on the right side of the road with traffic all of the time. When you do, you'll look like a responsible adult cyclist who knows the rules of the road. Ride on the right. It's the law and it works. On your left. Likewise, when passing, stay to the left of other cyclists. In other words, ride right, pass left. As you wave goodbye to Inverness, the Gulf of Mexico awaits you after the challenging maze to residential streets of Citrus Springs. Follow the signs carefully and don't try shortcuts or you may end up feeling like Charlie on the MTA. You'll end up at the Cross Florida Barge Canal, abandoned and restored as the Marjorie Harris Carr Greenway. It bisects the entire state from east to west on the historic Barge Canal Corridor. Explorers can ride bikes, horses, hike, paddle, or fish along the Greenway. Be sure to take the four-mile ride on the Withlacoochee Bay Trail to its end on the Gulf of Mexico. Then head back for a box lunch and rest stop at the trailhead and on to cross the locks. Caution! Do not try to take a shortcut and go over the Inglis Bridge. It is steep, no shoulders, debris, and unforgiving to cyclists and pedestrians. On a section of the Greenway ride, you will be riding on two three-quarter mile short stretches of packed but unpaved Lime Rock Road. Slow down and enjoy the woods and remember you can always walk your bike and do a bit of birding along the way. This crossing of the historic Dykes and Spillway has been specially arranged by our State Office of Greenways and Trails as an opportunity to witness this Army Corps project never officially opened as a completed canal. It was decommissioned before completion through the efforts of environmentalist, activist, and grandmother, Marjorie Carr. Your reward is a shuttle visit to breathtaking Rainbow Springs for a cool dip, nature hike, or just to relax on the sloped grass amphitheater and listen to the sounds of the Lincoln and Heron. Dinner will be served on the grounds with evening musical entertainment and school bus shuttles into historic Dunellen for sightseeing, novelty shops, or tasting local cuisine.